Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the January 2020 Freight Crate, and I think this is the fastest I've ever gotten a Freight Crate, so I was actually kind of surprised when I got it today. I was like, oh, whoa, what, what is this on my doorstep? It's Freight Crate. So cool. Very awesome. Um, as usual, there's always a quote on here. This quote is from Robert Eggers, uh, who I believe is the guy who directed The Witch, which is a good film. I like finding things that are on the fringes and sort of half forgotten. So, um... I'm down with that. I, that's kind of part of what I'm going through right now with film. Um, I'm also getting, I'm trying to get caught up on like older horror films that I haven't seen yet that are, you know, a lot of people have said, oh my God, you haven't seen that. You need to see that. So I'm going through those, but also trying to find like lesser known things that are just kind of like, like it says on the quote, fringe that people don't really know about and be like, oh my gosh, this looks fun. So. That's what I've been going through lately. What about you? Put a comment. What have you been watching? Okay, so we'll get into this. Some paper on top as usual. Uh, and actually, this shirt, this Gremlin shirt, is from the November box. Because they put all their December type stuff in their November box. So, Alright, so first we have... Is this the shirt? This is not a shirt, I don't think. This looks like something else. This looks like a... Is this a pillowcase? Is this a pillowcase? It is. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's a nice feeling pillowcase. And it looks good. Look at that. A little a little something for Sid Haig there, House of a Thousand Corpses. I'm not the biggest fan of this movie in particular, but if someone is a for anyone who's a fan of this movie and got this item, I'm sure they're very jazzed about it. It looks outstanding. And like if I put it closer up, I don't know if you can tell, but like it's you probably can't tell, but it's really soft. It's very, very soft on both sides. So, yeah, it's a pillowcase. That's actually cool because, actually, I have some, like, themed pillows. Like, I have this directing one that my wife got me a long time ago. And I have one over here that is a Lament configuration that she got me uh, just a few years ago. So, yeah, this type of thing is cool with me. I like it. It's just... This just happens to be a movie I'm not that big into, so, you know. All right, so the pin shall be next. Do, do, do. Oh, okay, so the pin is from The Cell, which I remember seeing this movie when it first came out, but um, I, I'm, not, I'm not proud of this. I saw it on a bootleg. I was in college, and it was, like, one of those really crappy bootlegs that you hear about where, like, you could tell someone's, like, sitting in the theater and it's, like, in their coat. And you see people, like, getting up and walking by during the movie. And, like, the colors look all sorts of off. Because this was in, like, 2000. So, like, video quality that people would sneak in the theaters weren't even that good. So, but anyway, I have seen the movie since. It's a gorgeous film. And it's a cool, cool film that I feel like people don't give enough credit to. But anyway, enough ado. Um... The cell. It's pretty good. Decent pin. They always have some decent designs. Uh, and it kind of makes me want to revisit that movie now. It's a good one. Okay, next. I don't think there's a shirt in here, which is actually kind of a real bummer for me. I guess the pillowcase instead of a shirt. But I really look forward to the shirts. So, that kind of sucks. Okay, so here we have... This, I like this piece. This is a resin piece um, maximum from a Maximum Overdrive. And I believe that, oh, look at that. It's like the hobgoblin from the front of the truck. Uh, yeah, look at that. That's cool. And it's a magnet. So actually, I have a beer fridge down here. I'll just pop this on the side of the beer fridge. That looks really good. Like, I like all the angles on it. It just looks, like, really cool. The shapes on this, yeah, really well sculpted. I really, really like the way that looks. That's really, really cool. Plus the color scheme. I mean, obviously that's what it's supposed to be because it's from the movie, but it just looks it looks very appealing. It's very nice. I think there's a few other resin pieces in it. What is this? A pop socket? This is an interesting box. Okay, so th this is interesting. I've actually, I don't have a pop socket for my phone, and I've actually kind of thought about getting one. So here's a pop socket for me if I want to use this one. From Scream. And it looks good. It's that cool, like, logo of the, the ghost face mask from the side that kind of turns into the butcher knife. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. And it's an exclusive Fright Crate pop socket. I did not see that coming. That's a that's a real curveball right there. 
Okay, so there's two other boxes in here. Actually, I'm gonna pull this thing on the bottom out first. Scream Magazine? Like, what is this? This is interesting. I do like horror magazines. Like, I subscribe to Rue Morgue Magazine, which I've been subscribing to for about 12 years or so now. And I, I read every issue, so um, I'll be down to kind of check this out. Um, the world's number one horror magazine. Oh, and it's in pounds up here, so it must be from the UK. Huh. I'm going to give this a whirl. I'll take this to... I have to be careful about it, but I'll take it to work. Um, yeah, they got something in here on, like, Swamp Thing, Am Amityville 2, um, The Nasty Files. I don't know what that means. Ooh, it looks like they've got some, like, ground grindhouse type, type stuff in here. Something on the new uh, Child's Play, Bright Burn. Cool. I'm uh, I'm definitely down with this. That's, that's a cool item. And there's two more things in here. This is crazy. Okay, so here's another resin piece. This is, like, the actual resin piece. The other thing is the... Um, the magnet, which is usually like a, a bonus. Okay, so here we go. So for this one is... Oh, from House. Big Ben from House, from like the uh, Vietnam flashback scene. Looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Yeah, I like the detail work on the, um, the ribs there. Look really nice. Yeah, and he's all like tattered up. Yeah, House... House is a fun movie. Obviously, the grenade there. Yeah, House is a really fun movie. That's one I need to go back to. I haven't watched that in, I mean, at least five years or so. So, that needs a rewatch. And I actually haven't seen any of the sequels. I hear the sequels are just, like, kind of not so great. But I just want to check them out at least once. Okay, and then we have a some box. I don't know. I'm assuming this is not going to be another resin piece. Because why would they have three in there? But who knows. Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, I mean, I get it. That's kind of cool-ish, but I don't want to ding it too loud because the microphone's right here, so you get it. And it says Bates Motel. That's kind of cool. Um, not my thing, though. I probably won't display this, and honestly, if someone wants it, I can give it to them but yeah that's it um really really bummed about no t-shirt i always really look forward to the t-shirts because the t-shirt designs as you can tell from this one are always so good and it's usually my favorite thing in addition to like the pins and the resin pieces but this was an interesting box i think the pillowcase is cool it's just like i said not a pillow i mean not a movie i really like that much so anyway which honestly though it's funny because i'm actually going to be watching three from hell tonight because I have a screener uh, copy from Shutter sent to me, um, so I can do a review for it before it hits Shutter this coming week, and uh, it's just funny timing that I unbox that because it's in the trilogy of films. All right, so uh, exclusive Bates Motel service bell prop replica, uh, three point five inch brass hotel grade service bell inspired from the film Psycho. Custom made for Fright Crate, place on any flat surface, and summon Norman. Uh, exclusive Big Ben mini bust from House, brought to you by Serial Resin Co. They do great work. An awesome piece for any fan of the film, complete with the hand grenade that killed him. Uh, the exclusive decorative pillowcase for House of a Thousand Corpses, tribute to Sid Haig. I figured that was their aim. Featuring some of the gang, 18 by 18 in size, item made exclusively for Fright Crate, Fright Crate, don't you like clowns? Exclusive Maximum Overdrive Sculpted Magnet. Place it on any magnetic surface or all vehicles will come alive. Also brought to you by Serial Resin Co. Two inches. Exclusive Scream 4 Pop Socket. Uh, this versatile item can be used on your phone as a stand or phone holder. Warning, Ghostface might make a call. Uh, exclusive Scream Magazine. Some hard to find issues of Scream Magazine. Issues... 48, 51, 53, and 57. Oh, so it's specific issues of it. So I got issue 54. Yeah, 54. So when did it... Oh, so it came out in May, June of last year. So. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, and then exclusive, the cell pin. Two-inch soft enamel pin of iconic baddie Strager. Starger. The cell. And then they don't, they usually have what the properties 
or the franchises are going to be for the next one, but they don't have it on here. So a little bummed by that because I, I always look forward to doing that at the end of the videos, but you know. Um, so overall, like I said, I'm let down about no shirt, but I did like this box. I think overall it's definitely the bang for your buck. It's a cool one. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm most impressed, it sounds weird, but I'm most impressed by that magnet for Maximum Overdrive. Just because it just, whoa, <laughs> I'm like messing things up. Uh, it just looks so good. Like I said, like the sculpting of that, like the shapes plus how the, the colors pop. Just get another look at that. That looks so good. That's going to look awesome on the side of my beer fridge. I'm very excited about this one. Cool. Anyway, um, Fright Crate, once again, good stuff. I love it. I'm going to keep purchasing stuff. I already made my purchase for the February box, which we will unbox next early next month. And uh, I'm just going to keep going. Uh, for people out there who uh, are seeing this for the first time, don't know a whole lot about Fright Crate, their boxes go on sale the first of every month. And they usually sell out within a, like two days, sometimes less, depending on what the properties are or franchises are for it. So... Uh, I would say if you want to get one, just put a reminder on your phone for the first of every month. That's what I do so that you can just go in that day and make that purchase because you don't want to miss out. This is the best horror related mystery box in my opinion. So anyway, thanks everyone for checking this out. Please do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button. You can also hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate that so that whenever I have videos going up, uh, especially with all my movie reviews, you can see them immediately and help me get views and everything put some comments down here about this box or about horror stuff in general and we can do that um if you're already subscribed definitely hit that like button so i know you're still watching or you're encouraging me so but thank you very much everyone for checking this out thank you fright crate and until next time keep it brutal